Whether in a poor country or a rich country, the first thing a doctor will do when they suspect hepatitis is to do a blood test, a serological test to know if the person has been in contact with the hepatitis C virus. If the test is positive, a second test is necessary to know if the virus is active. If this test is also positive, the patient has active hepatitis C. The doctor then evaluates the type an extent of liver damage. A final test determines the genotype of the virus, the family to which it belongs. There are six different types of hepatitis C, and they aren't all treated the same way. Hepatitis C used to be treated with peg interferon, which is given by injection, so quite restrictive. There was an injection every week, and over quite a long period, depending on the genotype. Treatment lasted anywhere between 6 and 12 months. On top of that, it wasn't well tolerated, and the patient had to be monitored closely. Worse still, the treatment wasn't very effective. The virus was eliminated in around 50% of cases only. But treatments have been simplified, they're easier to take, without side effects, and most importantly, they're effective. The virus is eliminated approximately 95% of the time. Treatment is shorter, usually three months, and is well tolerated. So everything's changed for the treatment of viral hepatitis, in industrialized countries at least. One serious drawback in this mini-revolution is that the new hepatitis C treatments are exorbitantly expensive. In less developed economies, in Africa, Asia, Central Asia, in many countries with a relatively high prevalence of hepatitis C, it's almost impossible to provide these treatments. 